here we um, before we start connecting we need to make sure we check our resistor values so just on the multimeter I'm going to plug the negative to the negative jack and the negative to the common terminal and just um, start the workbench um, on the multimeter you will notice we've got uh, different scales we've got the voltage scale uh, representing the V that's for volts and the millivolts uh, we've got the ohmic scale uh, the capacitor in this case we're just going to be dealing with the ohmic scale there because we want to measure our resistor values um, already we know that um, each resistor value um, each resistor component have their their um, terminals so in terms of r1 this is our positive negative in fact for r1 to r20 on the left hand side we've got our positive and on, on the right on, on, on the right hand side we've got the negative right so i'm just going to plug accordingly we will notice that our r1 our r1 value here is 10 ohms we're not looking for 10 ohms because we were given 12 ohms in class so we're just going to scan through here um r3 r3 gives us uh, 12 ohms so we know that we are going to use r3 just going to jump to r4 here uh, R4 also gives us 12 ohms, so we can use um, R3 or R4. And we go to R5. R5 is giving us, uh, here is 15.5. Let me just check R6. Yeah, so for R2, we're going to take R6. We can use R5 as well. Then um, I'm just going to jump to R9 quickly because of the time there. Now we use 22 ohms for R3. So R1 we're going to take as R3. R2 we're going to take as R5. And R3 we're going to take as R9 because they correspond with our resistor um, values. So um, in, the, in the next video, I will just show you how to do uh, the series connection for our circuit. Yeah,